really why I became a blacksmith. I just wanted to do it. I've always wanted to be a blacksmith. It just seemed to fit more than anything else. It was as if it was meant to be. Whenever I'm working in the forge, I always think of how lucky I am. That I found something that I love to do. Forge work, you've got to be thinking, you know, six or seven steps or techniques down the line. It's cooling down, you've got a limited amount of time to affect change in that metal. And that can add a, a level of intensity that isn't really present in a lot of other crafts. The steel goes on a journey. It goes on an outward journey where it changes its appearance. Hopefully it will look a lot different to the way it started off, but also the molecular structure of it goes on a little journey. But it's still one of the most sophisticated things man has ever done, which is learn to manipulate metal. Molten or hot metal, that's iron's natural state. We're dealing with it in its frozen state. So it's like modelling clay, except you can't touch it. And that adds another layer of fascination to it. You've got to use all these interesting tools, and you've got to learn how to tease it and sculpt it. That moment when you step back and is completed for the first time. It's just, there's something special about it. There's, there's this moment. But for a small amount of time, you kind of have this moment of peace. I made that, and it's something I, I've never been able to do before. And there it is done. My name is Michael Budd, and 